We're going to be talking about some post history pertaining to France. Come join us while we discuss student protests in France during the year 1968. It was a sunny day in France, May 3rd, 1968. This day would be the beginning of many events to follow. Nationwide strikes, mass protests, various street battles, and much more to come. This wasn't a political revolution like past French revolution, but it was a culturally and socially large event that changed French societies forever. It is hard to imagine any Western country significantly impacted by social upheaval. This is exactly what happened in May 1968. It would be difficult to find someone from France born before 1960 that didn't recall the month of May that year. The women's liberation movement and the gay rights movement in France showed more attention during this month. Although many people saw a protest, the harsh event that shattered many modern norms at that time, it really pushed France into the modern world we see today. Some say 19th century was a very long century. The colleges around the country were closed as students, joined by their professors, occupied classrooms. Anyone else in France who thought they could make a difference joined these protests. It wasn't an uncommon daily occurrence for a group of students to be confronted by police officers. Starting on the 3rd of May, police entered Sorbonne and arrested students. During this process, an estimated 600 French students were arrested. Students returned to quickly set up barricades to stop the police from entering the areas where they were protesting. This happened every day at night and during the day for several days, the police were wearing helmets and were with riot shields, tear gas, truncheons and water cannons, the students would still be wearing school clothing such as their ties suits and jackets during their rallies. The students dug up paving stones from the Paris streets to throw at the police. On the night of May 6, violence ran the streets of Paris, 600 people were wounded and 422 detained, but it was the night between May 10 and May 11, this was known as the Night of Barricades. Many people in Paris still talk about it today. Protesters ripped up the paving from two streets in the Latin Quarter, where the Sorbonne is, they set fire to cars and confronted police officers. When many of the bloody fights had ended, hundreds of students had been arrested by that time and many many more were hospitalized, as were a number of police officers. Not only did students protest during this month, but French factory workers also walked off the job and in many places camped out on the factory floor. The workers refused tea work and wanted a new order in their workplace. The shipyards in Nantes stopped loading and unloading freighters, and work in much of the car manufacturing and aeronautics industries also ceased. The unions did not call the strikes but when workers. By the third week in May, an estimated 10 million were on strike in Paris. There was no gas for cars because the refineries had stopped for the time, the trains didn't run, neither did the Paris busing system. There would eventually be further protests in France but none that compare to the strikes and rallies demonstrated in the month of May 1968. Go. What? We're going to push in the <laughs> May 3rd, 1968. This day be at the beginning of many months. Zach. We're recording. Are you? Stop.